How's it Grant here? Welcome back to another camera comparison video. And today I have the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE and the Google Pixel 6. And so this will be one of my mini camera comparisons. And so all that means it'll be a more compressed comparison, about half the length of my normal full comparisons because this won't have anything like full screen photos or videos, no screen recordings or any kind of crop-ins. And that's just to minimize the amount of time it takes for me to shoot all the photos and videos and really my time in editing so that I can bring you more content like this. So give me your feedback. Let me know if you're okay with some of these scaled back comparisons so I can bring you more videos. Or if you want me to scale the videos back, do less of them and stick to full camera comparisons. But either way, as you can see, the Samsung Galaxy S21 FE is recording at its max resolution and frame rate, which is 4K 60 frames per second. And the Pixel 6 is at 1080p 30 frames per second. And the S21 FE obviously has more of a field of view, so it can fit more in the frame because it does not have any stabilization here at 4K, not at 30 frames or at 60 frames. It is only stabilized at 1080p. And so as you can see, they are both recording from the front facing cameras here. You can see the S21 FE on the left, Pixel 6 on the right. So given that the s tone FE doesn't have any stabilization here at 4K, I just want to show this to you. And then let's go ahead and cut out and come back at 1080p and show you that stabilization side by side. All right, so we're back at 1080p 60 on the s tone FE and how that compares to the 1080p 30 that the Google Pixel 6 Max is out at here. So let's just start walking so we can check out that stabilization here side by side. And also let me know what you, what you think about these front facing cameras here between the s tone FE and Google Pixel 6. And then let's go ahead and check out all the photos and videos and let me know what you think. So this is a rear video test of the Galaxy S21 FE and Google Pixel 6. As you can see, they are both recording from the rear facing cameras. And this is at 4K 30 frames per second with the ultra wide angle lens on each to start. So I'll just pan around to give you a feel for how these ultra wide angle lenses look like compared side by side here. The S21 FE obviously has the wider field of view. It can fit more in the frame than the Pixel 6. And so hopefully you can see the differences in color reproduction here side by side. And so let's go ahead and switch into the main lens now. So let's go one tap on the S21 and then let's tap on the Pixel 6. And so now this is the main camera on each. I'll do the same thing. I'll pan around to give you a feel for how these look side by side with each of the main cameras. And then we'll pan over here to the right and we'll test zoom out on that cell tower. So we have a three times optical zoom here on the S21 FE and I can move into a equivalent three times digital zoom here on the Pixel right there. 
So optical on the FE and digital zoom on the Pixel now. And the Pixel has a max zoom here of seven times at 4K. And the S21 FE, let's go to about the same. So seven times there on the FE digital. So there's digital zoom compared on each. And actually the FE looks a little bit more clear. And let's go to the max 12 times zoom here on the FE. So even at 12 times, it looks pretty clear there. So that's max digital zoom on each. And let's back both of these out one times here. And let's test autofocus on the post with the S21 first. So there you go, focused up and away. And one more time, focused up and away. So not the fastest, but it will focus in, as you can see right there. So now with the pixel, right there, focused up pretty quickly there. One more time. So yeah, a little bit faster autofocus here on the Pixel, but both doing a pretty good overall job. And then let's go ahead and walk down the stairs so you can see the stabilization here at 4K side by side as we walk through the path. And then we'll start jogging a bit to stress out that stabilization here. And we'll pull up at the end of this path and pan up into the sky so you can see how these cameras handle this bright afternoon light. So here's a low light video test of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and Google Pixel 6. This is the ultra wide angle lens on each at 4K 30 frames per second to start. And so as you can see, the Samsung S20 FE has the wider field of view. It can fit much more in the frame than the Pixel 6. And so here's the ultra wide angle lenses here side by side. Let's go ahead and switch into the main lens now. So one tap on the S21 FE and one tap here on the Pixel 6. And so this is what the main lenses look like. You can see both of them brighten up the picture immediately. So a lot more light being let in on this main lens here. And we'll pan around. You can see how it does with that really bright street light. S21 FE looks like it's flaring out a bit more than the Pixel 6. But let's pan this way and we'll start walking to test stabilization. As well as to move to a more challenging lighting situation like I always do. I like to start out in that really good lighting situation so I can see what these cameras can do in some fairly good light and compare and contrast to what that's gonna look like here as we walk down the path and around the corner into a much darker area. And so already I can see both of these phones are trying to brighten up the scene a lot more than it really is right now. And so that's gonna come at the expense of some noise in the picture right now. And if we pull up, we can point up into the night sky and there is some light pollution, so it's not pitch black out here if you wanted a reference point, but you can see the amount of noise that are coming from these cameras because they are trying to brighten up things a bit here and if we pan this way you have a blended lighting scene so you it's dark down the alleyway you've got some lights coming off the building here so you can kind of see how each of these cameras handle that transition and those lights with this kind of a lighting situation here down the alleyway so there you go low light video test in 4k
Hi right, so here's a low light video test from the front facing cameras on the Galaxy S21 FE and Pixel 6 and this is at their max resolutions and frame rates so that's 4K 60 frames per second on the S21 FE and it's not stabilized at 4K at 30 or 60 frames just FYI and the Pixel 6 is at 1080p 30 frames per second and there is stabilization on that you can tell there's much more crop on the Pixel 6 than there is with the S21 FE although it's probably looking even a little bit shaky even just sitting here on this mount. So let's come back with some 1080p footage on the S20 FE and we'll test out the stabilization. Heaven, so now we're back at 1080p, 30 frames per second on both phones. You can tell the S20 FE has more of a crop for that stabilization, just like the Pixel 6 now. And the S21 FE can shoot up to 1080p, 60 frames per second, but it's gonna look much darker than this footage is right now. So I want to keep things even at 30 frames per second. And in case you're wondering, yes, it is stabilized at 1080p, 60 if you wanted it on the S20 FE. And so I'm starting in my usual testing spot and some pretty optimal lighting so you can see what these front facing cameras can do in the best possible light here. You can see the lights to the left, to the right of me, and you can see those really bright street lights in back of me there. But let's go ahead and start walking to test that stabilization. So you can see what that looks like here side by side on both of these phones. And also we can walk over to a little bit more challenging lighting situation with the darker area. So you can see how they do in a bit more difficult lighting. I also have a water fountain here to my right so you can hear that background noise and how these microphones perform against that noise and let's go ahead and pan around here so you can see the really bright street lights behind you back there that collection of really bright lights and they're both blurring that out although the pixel 6 seems to be struggling a little bit more than the s clone fd is but let's go ahead and back over to this darker area here so you can see what each of these front facing cameras look like here side by side in this more difficult light and so that's pretty much going to do it here, I think, for this camera comparison. Right now, the Pixel 6 definitely looks like it's brightening things up and a little bit more noise, but let me know what you thought about all the photos and videos that you saw from the S21 FE and the Google Pixel 6. And let me know which one you preferred. If you liked one for photos or one for video or just one better overall, let me know in the comments and tell me why. I'm always interested to hear what you think and what you have to say. If you have any other questions or comments about either of these two phones that can help answer, leave them as a comment as well, and I'll try to answer what I can. And as always, thanks for watching. Now there's a plane. And a car. That's what happens when you shoot outside. <laughs>